hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today we're going to be opening up the august art snacks box and i know i'm a little bit late posting this video but why not just see what's inside so what the heck is that um so we have a lollipop that is root beer i believe or cream soda Then we have a, oh, matte paint. That looks interesting. It kind of looks like a juice box or something. I've never seen anything like that before. Looks like a yellow type of acrylic paint. We have a green one, same thing. Um, it looks like it's still matte. And yeah, it looks like a like a juice bag, juice box, or like a yogurt box or something. It's kind of weird. Next, we have the tissue paper, and it usually has you know pens or pencils in it. I always hate opening these things because I always like tear them up, and it just looks really bad afterwards. <laughs> Alright, so here's the sticker, and I think this is like my favorite sticker so far. It's so pretty, it's so pastel. I absolutely love it. I don't ever use my stickers, I just save them, so I have kind of a little small stack of them. But I love this one. Then there is a Windsor and Newton .08 pen fine liner. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting nib. It looks really long. And then we have a paintbrush and it's kind of an oval paintbrush. It's really big. That was the first thing that I really noticed about it. So it's huge. Now we have the Art Snacks menu and it has the list of things that are in here as well as their prices. So it looks like it's a soft body acrylic. It's interesting. Um, Art Snacks challenge, which is basically use everything inside the box. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I, I just can't get over the sticker. I love the sticker so much. So it's a little interesting trying to open these up because you twist it but then this little piece came off so I thought I broke it but then I saw that you can just remove it. When swatching these, I really like them. The yellow came out so much better than the green. The green ended up coming out really patchy, so I didn't really like that, but I'm pretty happy with the colors. So when seeing the colors that I had, and I kind of wanted to gather inspiration from our Tiki collection, this is me and my boyfriends, I thought about maybe doing the Piranha Mugs that we got from Trader Sam's, which is in the Disneyland Hotel, basically. And the drink is called the Piranha Pool, so I thought that it would look good in the green color that I got from the box. The Hatbox Ghost ones next to the Piranha Pools, we also got from Trader Sam's as well. 
and then we do have a couple other like the Krakatoa and this blue mug and those are just ones that we got from Trader Sam but I'm gonna be definitely doing the piranha pools uh, for my inspiration so the sketch turned out really good the pencil I know wasn't in the box but it was in a past art snacks box so I feel like I can kind of get away with it because it is an art snacks product and so that's what I used to sketch out the piranha pool A lot of small details in the mug so I was trying to make sure that I have enough space to get all those details in because the canvas is only about a three by three and so it was a little bit difficult using that big brush that I have so I cheated a little bit and used a small brush that I have. I should have tested it out first but when I put the fine liner on the canvas and then put the paint over it still smudged it and it made the paint a lot darker than I wanted it to be um, but I mean I tried to make it work and cover it up with a green just by itself not mixed with anything and I think it came out okay but yeah that pen just smudged even when it was dry it's still smudged I should have tested it before the next thing that I noticed was the paint would dry very fast and I know it's a matte paint but it seemed like it was a lot faster drying than other paints that I've used so it was kind of hard getting the paint on there as fast as I could because yeah it was starting to dry and flake and it just didn't just didn't work with me work well with me so I tried putting a little bit of water in it to see if that would work but it just thinned it out like I thought it would. So it was just kind of counterproductive. Because it's a matte paint, it just kind of looked a little dull to me. I don't know if I would have felt the same way if it was kind of glossy, but I just wasn't really liking how it was coming out, especially layering it on top of each other. It was just too drying and the paint in the palette was drying a lot faster too. And then it was even kind of messing up when I was putting the fine liner on it to kind of make a little bit more definition to show what it is and contrast against that background. So I'm a little conflicted with how it came out. Um, I like the idea, I like the concept, and I like the colors of green I was able to get from just those two colors. But I'm not sure about the paint. It was just too dry and in the palette it was just drying so fast that I felt like I had to speed through it just so that the paint wouldn't dry and like stick onto the palette that I was able to get some on the canvas but other than that I do like how it turned out um, I might do some gloss varnish on it just to protect it and maybe make it a little bit glossier breathe some life into it these paints were definitely interesting I've never seen anything like it before and it was pretty convenient that it has a little spout and that we can just twist off and close it. The brush was just too big to use on the small detail I was using, so I did have to use a different brush, but it did work well for the background. I do like my sketch a little bit more than how the painting came out, but I think overall with this small canvas and the paints drying really fast um, it came out really good and I think this is an interesting box and these are products I normally wouldn't buy so it was nice to kind of get it in there so I could give it a try well that's all I have for today if you like this video go ahead and give it a like subscribe if you're not already check out the other art snacks reviews about this paint um, I'm a little conflicted on it 
but leave me in the comments what you thought about the paint if you did get it and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.